maybe I figured out that my mental health like issues weren't a handicap. They were kind of a thing that brought me and you together. So the way I was born and the way I didn't like, the things I didn't like about myself might actually be the best thing that ever happened to me because I got to find you. Literally come from New York like two days ago. Like, do you know what I mean? So it'll be about two minutes, please. No stress, man. <laughs> but this is such a bad idea leaving me alone with my thoughts and a mirror in front of me. I'm like, ah! I hate myself. I can't sit still. Mate, I'm nervous. I'm proper nervous. Envelope number one, right, let's have a look. A song that reminds me from where I'm from. A certain romance by the Arctic Monkeys. It literally reminds me of standing outside a shop in a green Adidas jacket with like three um, stripes down it, asking someone to buy me a bottle of cider at about 13. I think every time that comes on, man, it makes me like think about rain and chips and scrumpy jack cider. So funny, people always say like, oh, look where you are, and I'm like, look at me. Like I'm from Doncaster and I'm wearing lippy eyeliner and, and stuff. Um, people from Donny don't usually look like this. I don't think. I mean, maybe they do now. Because of the modern way. The modern way. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Envelope number two. A song which, which I wish I would have written. Probably Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis because if anything goes wrong on stage, it's literally just like, yeah, play Don't Look Back in Anger. Because everyone just like, I'll forgive you. So if like your, your mics blow up, play Don't Look Back in Anger and it'll all be all right. <laughs> Next, envelope number three. A song that reminds me of being in love. Um, probably like my boy Lewis Capaldi before you go or something. You know what I mean? It makes you, makes you like cry and weep in an hotel room on your own. I do that a lot. Number cuatro. The first song I ever loved. Um, probably. What's the story, morning glory? I remember my dad used to play in the kitchen. My dad irons in his underpants, which is a trait that I inherited. I'm always in my underpants in my house. Like the postman will come around and be like, hello, mate. How are you in me kegs? Um, so yeah, man, what's the story? Morning Glory makes me think of me dad ironing clothes in his pants. That's not weird, is it? When I was growing up, I f f felt like it wasn't all right to be myself. I used to watch like Freddie Mercury videos and Mick Jagger videos and Robert, videos of Robert Smith and Kurt Cobain. And I don't know, man, they were just so like themselves. And I thought, if they can do it, then so can I. And that really inspired me. I was about 12, I think. I think, man, I've discovered this kind of optimism all the time. You know what I mean? No matter how dark things get or how much things go to Like, I feel, like, optimistic a lot. And I like my energy. I think I'm, like, lucky. Like, I get to be, like, hype all the time. Like, no matter how much I don't sleep or how much whatever, I'm always, like, buzzing. You know what I mean? It's like good old ADHD. It's so funny, man, because I hated my ADHD. I hated that part about me. You know what I mean? I hated that people didn't like me because I was too energetic or I said too many things that they didn't want to hear. But since, like, I found you lot, I love my ADHD. Maybe about, maybe I figured out that my mental health like 
issues weren't a handicap. They were kind of a thing that brought me and you together. So the way I was born and the way I didn't like, the things I didn't like about myself might actually be the best thing that ever happened to me because I got to find you. And that's what's kind of been going on in my head, especially writing new tunes and stuff. It kind of blew my mind a bit. The finale. What do I see when I look in the mirror? Um, wow. A lot of makeup. Green eyes, piggy nose. But I see me, man. You know what I mean? I think I see a lot, of, a bit of insecurity in my eyes and kind of like old battle wounds. Someone who's kind of like went through a lot and had a big journey and is still on a massive journey, but just a person who's like growing up every day. You know, it's interesting to kind of look at yourself in a mirror. I don't think you do that. You like kind of look at your clothes. But you never look at your eyes, do you? I'm like kind of talking to myself subconsciously. It's like, hello, how are you? What are you insecure about? What do you want? I think I overthink a lot of stuff. I've got that little knack in my brain that kind of makes you feel worthless that everyone gets. You make, you feel, you make, you explore something that's good about yourself. You're like, I love that in the moment. And then 10 minutes later, you're like, oh, I hate it. Why would I have done that? Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why did I think? I think, and, and it's fighting that person inside yourself, you know, and, and I think music and having a community of people has helped me just show them that it's all right to be who they are. It's kind of healing me and healing like oh, everybody. Like, cause this old thing I always say is it ain't about me, it's about us and it's about healing your mates and it's about them healing you. And I think it's like super exciting. You know what I mean? When you jump over those obstacles together, it's like sick and it's inspiring and it's like mad. You know what I mean? It's mental.